Now look at that! Ah! So, hey there guys, my name's Hey Chen, welcome back to another video. Today, this is probably one of my most exciting videos that I've been wanting to make for a while, but I've just been waiting for the right time to do this. Today, I'm going to show you some really freaking cool lightsabers, aka Star Wars lightsaber mods. Ah! So, you've already seen some of community mods of what's already been made, but we're going to go and head straight into the deep end of this. We have got ourselves a lightsaber right here. This isn't just any lightsaber. This is a dual double-bladed lightsaber with the sentinel saber hilt there and a custom wood looking like it's from kashik right here and when you ignite it <laughs> now that's pretty cool the sound effects are pretty much bang on and everything i love it and i can't wait to see the improvements of what these lightsabers will look like and you gotta give them some slack with the mods that have been put into this. Big shout out to Bart once again for adding all these bad boys right into this. You can also use the Sentinel lightsaber just on its own so you don't have to use this. Which I will show you what that looks like in a bit. And then this is from the cross guard lightsaber and it's kind of just been wielded together. So if you go and put it on the ground and give it a little bit of a read. A double bladed lightsaber crafted from scraps of others. Kyber crystal inside is yellow. And honestly, I'm a huge fan of this. Like, this is so unusual, but such a Star Wars thing to see. I freaking love it. Our next lightsaber has to be one of the most prettiest lightsabers that I have to admit. And one of the first ever ones added into Battle Talent. The Cross Guard lightsaber. Oh. Now that is such a pretty noise to really see. The only thing with these lightsabers as well, guys, do keep in mind, he has been working on these quite a bit, but when you do clank them together, listen to this. It still does sound like a sword. These are going to get updated in time. That is the only icky thing I do have with these lightsabers. But can we just take a minute to look at this detail? This is freaking incredible. And I'm a huge fan of this, like... Wow, look at it! It's so pretty! So we're gonna go and get these bad boys out. And if I've already mentioned these in a video, you are gonna see these again, because this is fitting perfectly with the theme of these lightsabers right here. These bad boys are Ahsoka Tano's dual lightsabers. If you don't recognize them, go and watch Star Wars Rebels or The Mandalorian and you will recognize these as these are Ahsoka's white kyber crystal lightsabers. Now that is such a unique noise because all the others do not do this and the reason why I like these so much is because they work so much better than all the other lightsabers. And I will admit, the sound effects that do come out are pretty cool, and they do act like lightsabers. So if I ignite them right now, have a little look at this. Yes, you still do have the clashing, it sounding like swords and everything when you do clash them together. But, you know what? That's okay. I don't really mind because- Oh, these weapons are very, very unique. You've seen them before in my first video, and you will see them in this video. This is a more updated version on the situation with lightsabers at this moment in time, so I got two different lightsabers in my hand. First one you're seeing in my left is a Sentinel lightsaber. This is a custom hilt made and modded in to Battle Talon with a nice yellow rustic effect with a lot of detail on this hilt, which I'm really loving, I'm not gonna lie. With this brown rust on the bottom with the, the energy core right there, with the kyber crystal being in the middle and the emitter on the top, which I'm really loving the detail, I like it. So when you activate it, it looks something like this. So then, it is a bit noisy, yes, and it, it has like a nice white, yellowish, pale look to the actual blade. Then, 
when you actually ignite this, the amazing thing with this is, you don't have to hold the trigger button down so it stays on, so you can turn it on and off like this. Then, if we go into my right hand over here, we've got a beautiful crafted Sith lightsaber with a nice red emitted color throughout the actual hilt with so many freaking details right here on the actual switch and then the top part up to the emitter's end right here but overall like this is a really freaking pretty lightsaber hilt if i was want to be a sith i'd love this then when you admit this you've got a gorgeous gorgeous Nice cherry red color as the blade right here. Our next lightsabers that we're gonna have a look at. These are a very special kind of lightsabers. Our first one right here, we're gonna go and have a look. This is used by a retired Jedi from the Jedi Order, and this is the hand bound lightsaber. <laughs> Look how cool that is! That is like your very own lightsaber typed Wolverine claws. And the such cool thing about this, it fits around your hand as well. So it's perfectly gripped and it's like a mini portable thing. So it just it fits on your hand perfect. So you don't need to worry about having it on your arm or anything. It just like wraps around your hand absolutely perfectly if you can't hold it anymore. <laughs> Then, our next one right here is the Dark Saber, an ancient, unique, black-bladed lightsaber created by Tar Vizsla, the first Mandalorian inducted into the Jedi Order. Now look at that! That is so freaking cool! The Dark Saber finally added in to Battle Talon. That is so freaking cool! Oh, so cool. So apart from that, folks, that is literally it for this video. You've seen a lot of these lightsabers now. Ahsoka Tano's, some yellow kyber crystal sabers, Sith lightsaber, a dual wielding lightsaber, and a cross guard lightsaber. So many different concepts of lightsabers so far, which I'm absolutely loving, considering how long mods have only still been in Battle Talent VR. Let me know what lightsabers you'd like to maybe see next in the comments down below, or which one was your favorite. Mine, 100% Ahsoka Tano's. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.